So Hamlin must have beaten Mouth, I think. I guess so. Yeah, he's playing for fourth. Um, but so... I met him and Miho, like, right off the bat. Back when Miho had, like, the lion's mane. Right, right. You know, That's honestly all I can picture when I think of Miho. Yeah, when I, when I think back to him, I'm just like, he's just got that lion's mane. Right. Alright. Hamlin rocking the sick new frames. They make him look so much more grown up, honestly. Kinda, yeah. Uh, more mature. They definitely fit, like, fit his face better, I've got to say. But then he's got that Pikachu shirt, on the other hand, which, like, completely ruins the I mean, <laughs> mature image. You know, which is fine. I think the shirt's great. Yeah. I love Pikachu, but... All right. Going to Dreamland game one. Yeah, this definitely benefits both characters pretty decently. She gets a lot of the trial camp, hmm. and then you'll see Falco, like he'll be able to use a lot of lasers and just kind of keep Sheik at bay. Yep. Yeah, and I feel like the platforms on this stage are like at the right height to extend Falco combos at decent oh, yeah. I think I think Falco just loves platforms in general. Like, I mean, Battlefield is technically higher than Dreamlands. Mm -hmm. um, most people don't think of it because Dreamland looks bigger and is bigger. Oh, oh. God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll very be. clean. Yeah, the, the lower platforms are higher on Dreamland, but yes. uh, the yeah, top the, one the top, is just top a one little, is actually, little bit shorter. Little, little bit shorter. So Falco just kind of gets to have free reign on it. I feel like any platform. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, he gets because his shine sends he's so so high up, and yeah. his jump. Like, yeah, if, his... if you haven't actually like seen Falco's full hop, just let him finish the animation and see how high he goes. Yeah. It's actually pretty ridiculous. It's insane. He has the highest jump of the game. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember who second is. I know Luigi figures on there somewhere, actually. Like, yeah, Luigi actually has one of the highest based full hops, too, because it's Luigi you don't see a lot. <laughs> right, yeah. Why would you want to ever right. full hop as Commit Luigi? to the air, right? Bad idea. Um, fantastic combo coming out. Just yeah. taking him all the way, and Miss Tech there is going to get caught. No. Ah, drops uh, Yeah, double flub. A little bit of a shield stab. Oh, oh! Goodness gracious. Hello. Great tech there on the platform, but he's going to continue the string. Looking a little bit for the, uh, the roll there, but he's not able to find it. That will seal it. Ow! Yep, nice quick string from Ham Yojo. Yeah. Honestly, like, I love a good combo. Yeah. But every now and again, I prefer a combo that, or a string that is involved solely on, like, getting three or four really good reads. Right, yeah, it's always nice to see. Whatever. It's one of the interesting things in Melee is, like, for get any given situation, there's, like, technically a way you should be going about it. And then there are situations like that where I know you're going to roll in, so I'm going to charge this up smash for, like, two and a half seconds and then <laughs> cash in a big combo afterwards. Yeah, that was glorious, actually. Hamlin, I feel like, like, Hamlin is a very, like, 50-50-esque style. Yeah. Where it's, like, I will cover, like, this option with high payout or, you know, it'll be over by the time you're able to deal with it. Mm -hmm. It works out pretty well for him. Also, nearing out of shield. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> Some interesting movement from Bobby there, using the full ops go to the top platform. Ooh, but... yeah. Gets caught in landing lag there. Oh. Oh. Just shield drops out. A down air would have covered uh, if he just faded back in, but yeah. Hamlin went for center. It was actually really good on both of the parts. Interesting back air hitbox. Oh, oh fair just coming up short. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, so Bobby's actually one of the few Falcos in DFW that consistently ledge dashes with Falco, which I think is pretty wild. Um, yeah, bad DI there on the uh, forward, or not the forward, the dash attack. So Falco, like, kind of loses to DI away, but at the same time, then you have to get stage smash back from Falco's right, back air. Right, um, and, and it can be scary if you DI out too hard and you, like, set support properly and, like, down airs you off stage. Yeah. Bad things can happen. Oh, my goodness, and he's just carrying him to all the way across. Not gonna be able to finish off just yet. Gives him that reset. Mm, Bobby going a little nuts with the smashes. Yeah. All right. It's that reverse strong hit back here. He's gonna be able to fade back in. Ops for ledge and manages to take it. We'll see if he's gonna be able to get the full swing back. Yeah, he's got a pretty big deficit, so he's gonna have to wind like a very clean combo starter and still living Man, the Man, fantastic DI. I think that the uh, okay, yeah, he's saving his jump. And just going for ledge again. Yeah. But uh, the fadeback nair for both spaces is so strong yes. because when it's safe on shield, it can just lead into so much. Like you bait that grab out, and suddenly there's a world of opportunity right. open for you. Oh my god, that oh, was terrifying! That and that bad. is gonna be nothing there. Almost a kill. Yeah, that is that mash down, mash that side beam right. for the best. Yeah, you see a similar some thing happen with sometimes with Falco lasers. Oh, that great setup too, getting that roll read in. Oh, just no down smash. Again, oh. high nairs. All right. Oh, and the pushback. Mm. Platform push off saving him. Super close game. Yeah, both players like, okay, I need a drink. Uh, <laughs> Small break. Give me a moment, guys. Uh -huh. 
No, that's that was super good. Yeah. So um, one of the big things there is like aerials on shield will push yes. you off platform yeah. if you're facing away, and it won't put you into tumble if you are facing away from your opponent, like I said. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing was is that Hamilton wasn't grounded. Yes. And so um, he wasn't really able to follow up there before Bobby could get anything out. They should just do only teams, just to have the colors. Because <laughs> you can play single teams. You like, can why, actually. Why not? Yeah. Because you get less colors. The colors are fun. I mean, you're right. You're right. Be able to say, I play this color. I'm a blue sheik. Really. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> when I was a sheik man, I was a blue sheik, so I was very happy to move here and find out Hamlin is one, too. Gotcha. Some people would be mad, actually, because they're like, oh, blue sheik is mine. Uh, well, that's people being petty. They can go away. <laughs> Get them out. Uh, okay, I guess I'm leaving that seat to make oh. a <laughs> So I think it's a cool idea to be able to just, like... Have your distinct color. Have your distinct color, yeah. So I, like, mean, that, I feel like that's, like, like, top level. Like, you get to do that. Like you can do uh, that. You can do that with Green Roy, yeah. Lunchables too. Like both of you guys are very heavily identified, mm -hmm. like ingrained in that. And there's a, a legion of fanboy Roy's out there. Shout out! Shout out to all you Roy's, especially you melee ones, you poor souls. Oh God, yeah. Lord knows how you do it. <laughs> Anyone still fighting the good fight? I pray for you every night. <laughs> just before bed, a small whisper. <laughs> yeah. For all the Royal Mains Lord, just, just give them just one good forward smash <laughs> yeah. per game. That's all I just ask. Just one. Great shield drops. Cool. Both of these players have fairly consistent shield drops. Yeah, I, I don't believe either of them has modded their controller for it. No, I know Hamlin definitely just learned it the right way. Yeah. He played Yoshi, so he, he had played to. Yoshi, so he had to because Yoshi won't permit you to actually do the side drops. You have to do the actual full like slight drop into the dead zone from straight. Oh, through. interesting. I actually didn't know that. Yeah. He he explained it to me once. But yeah, the the, the main reason, or at least the, the logic in my mind, why, why Yoshi like has to be able to shield drop is that he can't jump out of shield. Yeah. So if he's ever on the platform, that's basically the only, the only way. Yeah, the only way he can get out of pressure. That or a, a terrible roll. I mean, it's, and it's, it's not god awful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. With the eye. Yeah, ma managing to slam against the platform always a good one. Yeah, Hamlin's been doing a lot. Ooh. Oh, that air dodge. Air dodge in place is so good sometimes. Mm -hmm. But just, like just the right hit where he could grab the wedge. Yeah. I think Bobby's picked up a little bit on the uh, the short hop over laser nair that Hamio has been doing. Yeah. And he adjusted accordingly with that shield. Uh -huh. Just kind of letting himself sink in, eat the hit on shield, and then get a grab follow up. Oh, oh interesting. Turn around with the laser? Question yeah. mark. Oh, actually, I'll do that a lot. Like more as a floaty thing. Like yeah. if you use that, you just hard smash in and then throw your aerial out. You can use lasers as like your own counterplay. Right. Because. Right. With that amount of low knockback, like if they're not following up with another laser or a hitbox immediately, you can get something out there. Right, yeah. Which did you see randomly? I used to see back in the day, anyways. Like, Marths do that. She's yeah. like, you know what? You're going to laser me. I'm going to throw out F Smash just in case. Yeah. I mean, the hitbox will make it there by the time I've soaked the hit. Hmm. I do it with uh, with either forward air or an air, depending on the situation sometimes. It's hilarious. Yeah. I mean, that's the standard you think. Smash yeah. hitboxes, <laughs> whatever you're going to Press hit. the big green button. Uh huh. Uh, again, I don't know if it's. I haven't seen Bobby Big Ball Balls play recently, honestly. So I don't know if like the the sort of full hoppy, doing aerials up onto the top uh, platform is something he does a lot. It's been cer it's certainly been something that we like seen him characterize, and he'll like use that to sort of take the space. It's almost ice climbers esque in a way, like blocking out jumps and like keeping people from assuming position on the side platform. So we were talking a little bit earlier about how he's not like Alex oh, Crispy. Yeah. Uh, we were talking a little bit about how his game is more ground-based and more horizontal, but at the same time, like we're seeing him, like have these sort of etchings or like ekings away of oh great oh. forward tilt, um, of like having a bit of a platform game outside of the combo game. Yeah. Uh, where he will do stuff like that and like wall. I think it's super fast. Yeah, yeah, because um, it is a very safe thing to just like like he did a little bit earlier in the stuff, like the rising back air up to the top platform. Like you don't punish that. No. Unless you're already hitting him as he's going up, there's no way. Yeah, you don't get to. Falco's full hopping, and he's going to come down with down air to try to fight yeah. him. <laughs> you don't really want to challenge that. Yeah. That looks like rising air, I don't think. Was... Definitely had, like, knockback enough to do it, but I couldn't make it out in between the scramble. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Hamlin not afraid to walk forward with invulnerability. Yeah. One thing that we saw in his match uh, last week with s was that he was doing a lot more tech chasing. And we're kind of not getting that in this matchup. He's relying a lot on these heavy 50-50s. Yeah. Or, like, catching air out of shield. And he's not really getting too much out of it, honestly. No. Great platform movement, though. Wow. Oh, ducking out of those lasers. Oh, stupid. Oh, no. That was definitely not an intentional jump from ledge. Yeah, getting those tournament winners sometimes. There is a... Because of how melee can work. Ah, the suicide there. Oh, <laughs> like Completely there. unnecessary, <laughs> just to make but sure. just a little sprinkle on top. Uh-huh. Um, sometimes you just got to make sure. Yeah, you got to let them know. 
But uh, sometimes you can miss perfect uh, ledge dash because okay. of how melee like reads in on certain inputs. Mm -hmm. So it. Oh. Oh no. That was probably supposed to be half dash bad laser that no ended doubt. up being fantastic. No doubt. Unfortunate. Yeah, but you can get those tournament winners when yeah. you're trying to get that beautiful ledge dash because it'll mm -hmm. it won't read the drop back and it'll instead give right, you a right, slide yeah. forward input. Yeah, trying to get like the frame perfect uh, double dome. Yeah. You look Melee's up. ridiculous, man. It's a very hard game. <laughs> it's very very difficult. Melee's like here, like you have to fight your opponent and then you have to fight me. Yes. Melee. Sometimes. Uh, yeah, honestly, it's it's a big honestly for like for people getting into the game nowadays, it's a pretty significant thing to have to be able to like fight through the game. Yeah. A lot of them don't even honestly realize it. They're just like, no, oh, this game's no. hard. That's okay. We'll go in and like fight. Yeah. Some people are like, why is it so hard to move in melee? And it's like, well, you see. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you sometimes <laughs> randomly can't move backwards when you want to. Yes. Yeah. There are these ledge mechanics. You don't do this one ever because you die. You don't do this yeah. one ever because you die. This if one is you're also playing really Peach, bad. you just get three, and then there's nothing good after. Right. Yeah, if you're post bad. 100, you just cry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a rough life. Yes. Like Peach and Marth Mans, it's just like, oof. Pretty rough to deal with. Getting from the ledge. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh, Courtesy, I like that. We're gonna get the start at the five, probably. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I respect people that do that. I personally am a scuzz, um, <laughs> and I will. Just way dash and down smash. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, no. Okay, you goofed up. This was on you, man. Um, oh, there's a segue I could go into that, but it's not family, so. We'll... Uh, oh. Yeah. And just, just, just like that segue of that stock. Yeah. Just that Hamio <laughs> just did. Smooth. Smoothly slid on out of there and just came in with the fresh one. Like right, the jabs. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, I'm seeing the the counter pick here. You know, Bobby like enjoying just using that laser lockdown, using those big combos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, while I feel like he doesn't necessarily generate too much more damage from the lack of platforms, the lack of platform movement from Hamiojo is a really, really big deal. Yes. Uh, his like shield dropping is obviously we're talking about his major important thing, but just moving around in general, Chica is a very slow character on the ground. Yes. So, like her, her dash speed, it's not, it's not awful, yeah. but it's not anything compared to like her aerial movement. No. Yeah. Like she, she thrives from being able to put hitboxes out from platform. Yes. Dealing with that. That's yeah. That's like her, her strongest aspect. Whenever she can like poke with forward airs or back airs or needles on the way down. Yeah. And there are no plat. She can't really do it too well from her short hop because her short hop is really, really, really high. Yeah. I feel like one of the risks that comes with how Hemiger plays and opts for these 50 50s is at times like he gets left out when they tech away. Yeah. Like he, he doesn't chase a whole lot. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is harder with Sheik because she does have, you know, like we said, that low ground speed in comparison to a lot of the cast. Mm -hmm. um, but boost grab is super. Cool. Yes, yeah, I feel like boost grab is a thing that's like always been in the game. It just hasn't been utilized a ton. Like I honestly just sometimes forget. Yeah, plup, uh, plup, and like how he formats his way of like tech chasing spaces, which is a lot of the time. Uh, he will wave dash into them, much mm -hmm. like a falcon like will. Falcon style, yeah. It's just the cover um, every often. Yeah, because either you can... Oh. oh that is that, a that sick angle. Trying really hard for that. All right. Forward tilt to grab. Oh, yeah. yeah again, yeah, he'll look and he'll, he'll, he'll try to cover that. It's safer, but at the same time, it's, it's so risky. Just, like, you're losing out on so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To not be able to get that tech chase situation. Yeah, and it removes you from the situation, like... If they teched in place or didn't tech, you're not going to get caught by, like, get up attack. I guess if you just, like, moved in instead. Yeah. Like, wave dashed in, like how you normally see, like we were just talking about. Yeah. But, um, it... I feel like it's on the tech chaser to get good enough that to, like, to neutralize that aspect of it. Oh my god! To cover so much West options. Ball's pressures! <laughs> that was... That was four or five West Ball pressure strains. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's oh. looking rough. Yeah. All right. Oh, that wave dash back to bait something out of shield. Lane. All right. Oh. And again, he just keeps he keeps setting up for that safe roll in, but he's not getting anything off of it. He's not going to oh. be able to up smash him off yeah, the top. This could pay happen. out pretty large for Ham Yojo, though. Oh, he's not able to get it with the short and very nice stuff about Google Balls. Rising there. Good DI. Switch to Zelda. Oh, and he's just going to take him yeah. from him. Bobby's done. Yeah. He's had enough of that. <laughs> Bobby doesn't play sometimes, man. Yeah. He, he scares me, honestly. I mean, you mean you're not you're scared of shield pressure what? like that? What's what? wrong with you? You Eight just, just buff and roll away. 